everybody, it's Joyce here, Shadow Bay Tarot with a little line y'all bringing you the Tarot Love Tea for the Twin Flames Final Reunion. All right, we're going to see what this Divine Masculine has going on toward the Divine Feminine during the time of Final Reunion. Okay, because there are twin flames actually joining forces, coming back together for the final union. I'm calling it the final reunion because it is a back and forth, back and forth, topsy-turvy thing when you talk about a twin flame union. All right, so guys, let's dive in and see what's going on with the Divine Masculine toward the Divine Feminine. What are his plans? What are his feelings at this time? Let's see what Spirit's going to give us. I am using the Steampunk Tarot for the Divine Masculine. And I will be doing a video shortly thereafter this one on the Divine Feminine's point of view for reunion with her Divine Masculine counterpart for this final reunion. All right, guys, let's see. Spirit, give me the messages, please. And I just dropped half the deck. <laughs> All right. Take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest behind. Don't try to force feed the messages, guys. Cross watchers are absolutely very much welcomed and encouraged here. Comment down below. If you are new to my channel, please hit subscribe. Join this Evergreen Bayou Tribe here on YouTube. And if you would need or like a private reading with me, please email me here at shadowbayoutarot at gmail.com. Let's see what the messages are. Wow. Okay, coming back. Eight of Cups. Here he comes. Here he comes. The Divine Masculine. <clears throat> Some of you guys, the Divine Masculine is coming in from a very long distance to unite for the final time with his Divine Feminine. Yep, here we go. The lovers coming in for that union, divinely guided. Spirit saying it's time. The universe has spoken. It's time to bring back permanently. Fix this couple together. These couples, I should say, four pentacles. There was a time of healing and reflection here. For the Divine Masculine, now he is ready to invest in his Feminine. Four of Pentacles. Never letting go, but not making a move until now. The Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Somebody might be hitting on a very uh, stubborn divine feminine energy. <laughs> or some of you masculines could be stubborn to take that final leap of faith, knowing full well where you belong, that that's your person. Stubborn, stubborn, somebody stubborn. We have the six of swords here. Yeah, somebody's definitely coming in, traveling from a distance, wanting to leave behind that instability. Okay. Nobody wants to long for the person they love when they could be with them. Why? Why would you not want to be with them? And I know everybody's got different factors, different situations going on, but life is like that in general. Everybody has stuff and regardless your life will never be perfect oh wait let me wait until my life is perfect before i get with my person well life isn't going to be perfect with them either it's just not 
made to be that way. It's never going to be that way. And if you're waiting for that, then you just soon be by yourself because that's never going to happen. Not with your divine counterpart, not with anyone, not by yourself even. You know, either you want to be with your person or you don't. And most of you do, and it's your time. And some of you are fighting against it, okay? Four of Wands, yeah. I mean, ultimately, you're going to go to your feminine, okay? You're going to start to build that home. You're going to start to build that relationship. You're going to start to take it to that level of commitment that you know is meant to be it's meant to happen you want that final commitment that final reunion you want to build a life with your person yep some of you guys are fighting the devil here fighting against your wild instincts you know having to tame that beast within no more being single no more bachelorhood you know you don't need that crap when you have your Divine Feminine. She fulfills all that, okay? You really do not need, you know, some of you guys are fighting your natural lusty nature or fighting addictions or outside influences that are trying to infiltrate and mess up this reunion. We have the moon here. And those are things that you don't want to reveal to your feminine. A lot of you. You know, you've been in your emotions about this. Or am I ready? Can I do this? Yes, you're ready. The divine says you're ready. You're ready. Okay? Damn it. Get the hell up and get off your asses. I mean, come on. Think about it. Think about it. Because most of you divine masculines, I'm, I mean, come on. You're middle-aged or getting into middle-aged. Okay, you need to think about this. You, I don't know how long of a time you think you have on this planet, but guess what? Y'all need to get off y'all ass because your divine feminine don't have to wait for you. All right, this is a choice. And if you want your person, you want your woman, damn it, get off your ass and go get her. All right? Zip your damn pants up and go get your damn woman. Now, I'm going to tell you, shit. Page of Pentacles, here you come. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you guys are really trying to hold back. You know, it's hard for you to express your love. I know, I know, but y'all got to. Come on now. Don't be scared. Offer that commitment that you know you want to make. Stop being a bunch of chickens. You know, come on now. Let's do this. I mean, what the hell? A woman loves it when a man reveals how much he loves her and shows her his loyalty to her. Y'all don't know yet? That's how you get your woman to do anything you want. Is if you're good to her shit, she'll do anything for you. You fucking do stupid shit, she's gonna tell you to... <laughs> Come on now. Y'all got sense? At least I hope y'all got sense, okay? Six of Wands, you know you miss this woman. You know you want her attention. All right, all eyes on you and her. Hell, you want her eyes just on you. You want victory in this. How do you think you're going to get it? Come on, let's go. Time's a waste, and you wasted enough time as it is all playing around. Like, ain't nobody want that. Ain't nobody want that but your divine feminine. So, come on. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, that's right. <clears throat> and that is exactly where you're headed. You know, create that future with your person. She is, you know, she is hoping and hoping and hoping beyond hope that the man she loves, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, see y'all making me sneeze. <laughs> she is hoping that the man she loves comes back to her and shows 
his love, shows his loyalty, his devotion, how much he cherishes her and the relationship. And let's build this. Let's grow this together. Let's live our lives together. Enjoy our lives together. Why not? Unless you want to be alone. You can choose that too. She can choose that, but shit. There's other men looking at her. You know what? Y'all need to come on. Y'all need to stop poking around. I'm sorry. Y'all need to get reality checks, dudes. And I'm going to be hard on you. Because it's true. You need a reality check. Ain't nothing less attractive than a middle-aged slut. Okay? Male, female, dog, cat, goldfish. I don't give a damn what you are. A middle-aged player is pitiful and pathetic looking. Get your shit together and go get your person that you know you want. Don't even play with me because I know better. Okay. King of Cups. Reveal that feeling. Reveal that love. Don't hold back. And you're damn right I'm fussing. I'm fussing because y'all get ridiculous with all this holding back. And wait, wait for what? Wait for what? Then you wonder why your life is shit. Your life is shit, most of you, because you're unhappy because you ain't got the person you want to be with. Think about it. You can have her. Y'all need to stop being stubborn. I see y'all coming towards her. Leaving all the dark clouds and all the darkness behind. The bad habits and the baloney. I know some of y'all like attention from everybody, but that starts to look a little bit pitiful the older we get. I'm just saying. I know y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. You've seen it yourself. You know? Some of y'all still, you know, looking at other choices. Mm-mm-mm. Seven of Wands, yep. Y'all moving forward, but y'all still have y'all guard up. Still thinking, wondering, you know, but what if? But what if what? But what if what? I'm just saying, look, if y'all not going to go correct to your divine feminine, stay at your house. Go deal with all your little whatever you got in the bar rooms or whatever the shit you're picking up. That ain't made you happy in the past. You still sniffed her out. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Well, this is your last shot, friend. Y'all have got to get out of limbo land and take some action. Because some of you guys are moving forward. Timid, but you're moving forward. Some of you guys are still, you move forward, you back up. You move forward, you back up. If there was something else for you out there, you would have found it already. Y'all need to get real. Get real with yourself. Ain't nobody else wants you but this one. Not like this. This person, your Divine Feminine, loves you sincerely, authentically, and will be good to you. And will give you the best of her. Don't fool yourself thinking you're going to get better somewhere else because you're not. You haven't yet. You haven't yet, and you never will. And there's going to be a time, if y'all keep on all this backtracking, she's going to find somebody else. She doesn't have to choose you. She can choose another person. It does not have to be you. You want to take that chance, you go right on ahead and stay where you're at. Okay? And when she ain't there, you can pat yourself on your back and be by yourself because everybody else done used your ass up. All right? Judgment. Reconciliation. Clarity and truth. So, y'all going to get a clue. Those of you who are being stubborn as hell, you're going to have a realization, a wake-up call, telling you right now that aha moment is right there. And like I said, most of you do have to travel a long distance to be with your person. Queen of Swords. 
You know this is the woman of truth. The woman of honesty. She is going to tell you straight up the way it is. She is not going to lie to you or bullshit you. She is your authentic counterpart. Commit to her. It is time. Some of, and y'all know. You already know. You're just scared of change. Don't be afraid. She's scared too. You need to step it up. She's ready and waiting. All right? Yep, here we go. The final reunion. We have the sun card. Leo energy. Some of you guys have really hurt your feminines in the past. I will say. Third party situations. Leaving them left out in the cold. Ghosting them. Y'all lucky she don't take that sword and cut your ass with it. That's the truth. But, you're going where you know you belong. She doesn't want to fight with you. She does not want to fight with you, but she wants change. She wants change. She wants the end of difficult situations with y'all. Alright? Because the majority, she has been through some shit. These women have been through some hell. The Divine Feminine has been through shit with this damn Divine Masculine. Two of Wands. You know who your person is. You know. And y'all have anxiety over this. Over starting this permanent new beginning. Look. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. You can't get any better than that. This is your soulmate that you have already planted seeds with. It's time for everything to take off and grow. It's time for this union to come into fruition. There you go. It's time to put that work, that elbow grease into it in the Eight of Pentacles. It's been a very long road here. Knight of Pentacles. But it, the time is now. Page of Cups. It's time to offer your love. It's time to offer that commitment. You will leave. A place of darkness. You will leave a place of depression for a lot of you. But you will leave your negative tendencies behind. Or the majority of you will. You're getting out of those choppy waters of emotion. You will have stability and abundance in the Wheel of Fortune with her. Because this is all about divine timing as well. Alright? Alright? <clears throat> Yep, step into the emperor. The emperor is all four kings in one. You're stepping into your divine masculine role at the perfect timing in the union of the soulmates, the yin and yang, is taking place. Yep, underneath the deck, I have the knight of cups offering that love, feeling anxiety and nervous, regret, a lot of you have regrets about third-party issues in the past, which you've put your feminine through. And you're ready to create that stable foundation and be her king of pentacles, be her husband. And that will be the wish fulfilled. Because the tower for a lot of you has fallen. And all these negative influences, all the secrets, all the lies, everything and anything that this relationship has gone through all the trials and tribulations all the challenges that's over it's time for that tower to fall and it is the divine i'm telling you right now the universe is taking over and making this tower fall and forcing you guys to be where you belong take that because that's just that's the soul contract you made before birth. That is who you belong with. This is your divine counterpart. The yin and yang, you belong together, you fit together. This is your soul partner. I see some of you guys really putting up a resistance and some of you, the resistance isn't that bad, but you do still have insecurities about it. And a lot of you, it is insecurity about yourself. 
don't worry about that because your feminine loves you. Don't betray her. Don't double cross her. Be fair. And that's what you're going to get. All right? So when that tower falls and comes down, it's going to be painful for a lot of you. But it is necessary and it brings good things. It brings a better turn of events, okay? And that's what I see happening. So if you guys wanted to fight against it, don't. Don't. Because eventually you were going to return to her no matter what. I'm telling you right now. Because that's the divine plan. That's what's meant to happen. Okay. I'm going to pull from the Tarot of the Familiars just to get a few cards here. Show me the relationship between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Femula Feminine. 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 <laughs> feminine. And what we can expect. Thank you. Thank you, Stupid. And you guys, this could be for any sign. I'm reading the energies of the cards, not the signs, okay? And everybody's got a different story. Keep that in mind. We have the Four of Cups. Yes, yeah, somebody's not satisfied at this time. Want to be with their Empress. Want a new beginning with their woman, with their divine counterpart. Queen of Pentacles. Want to make her your wife. Four of Wands. Yep. Want in the four corners of that happy home. 1111 card. The Four of Wands. Heavy fire energy here. Emotions and fire. Passion and love. Ready to commit. Five of swords. Some of you were in third party situations that you had to change, cut away from. Eight of swords. A lot of you guys are experiencing anxiety. Now that union is occurring, it's time. And because... Of this Five of Swords energy, a lot of you are very nervous, very skeptical. Will she take me back? Will she want to unite with me a final time? Three of Wands, your ships are coming in. You made up your mind what you want to do. Six of Pentacles, it's time for you guys to interact and to create that solid companionship, okay? That relationship with each other physically. Given that reciprocity equal give and take. Five of Pentacles. Yes, some of you really put your person out in the cold in the recent past. The star in Aquarius. But this person is meant to be with you. Seven of Cups. Yep, due to choices. You guys felt you had other choices. And you wanted to explore other choices at a certain time. However, you gain clarity for yourself, the King of Swords, and you are going to exp explain yourself, deliver the truth, because some of you, some of you have fouilleed and bullshitted this person. You need to come clean. And you know it. You know it. Okay? We have that Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you got to come clean so you and your Divine Feminine can have this committed relationship, marriage for a lot of you. Some of you want to start a family with this person. And you got to be honest. You got to be honest and upfront or you're not going to have a good relationship. The Hierophant. Yeah, marriage is in the future. That's my Major Arcana Marriage card. Taurus Energy. Eight of Wands. Taking Action. And that's taking action toward this commitment. Underneath the deck is the three of pentacles. So y'all going to lay that solid foundation down. And it's coming. 
before the end of 2020. It's coming. All right, masculines, that's what's going on. So I wish you all the best of luck and love with your final reunion with your divine feminine twin flames coming together. Congratulations. Don't be a chicken. Remember, you were not born with feathers. No, no, no. Move forward. Conquer. <laughs> you will be fine. Get out of your head. Follow that intuition and you'll be good. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below whether you like this video or not. Be nice because I'm going to go get you. I'm going to get you. Subscribe while you pissed off at me, by the way. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share my videos. Comment down below. Don't forget. And hit that notification bell so that you know each and every time I upload new videos and go live with Super Chat here on YouTube. I will see y'all soon. Bye-bye.